Oh my Lanta. Look at this thing guys. It's got to be illegal to look this shiny. Whoo! Whoo! Oh my. Oh man. What's going on guys? My cigar. What's going on? Welcome back to another vlog guys. So today I'm gonna talk about tuning problems that a lot of you guys, a lot, a lot of you guys keep DMing me about tuning on the RAM. Again, this video will be only about tuning for the RAM. I'm not talking about LML tuning for the Duramax, or I'm not talking about Duramax tuning, and I'm not going to be talking about power stroke tuning. I uh, just want to make that clear for you guys. But for you guys that still want to tune your L, I keep saying LML, your Duramax um, or power stroke, contact Raj, DM Raj. I will put his Instagram down at the bottom. So DM him, he will hook you guys up. Uh, he'll hook you up also with the exhaust on the uh, RAM also. So for exhaust on the RAM and uh, for the tunes on Duramax and Power Stroke, DM him. Now, guys, tuning for the Cummins. Actually, you know what? Let's get in the truck and let's talk about this. All right, guys. Now we are in the old Rammer here. So I'm going to try to help you guys because you keep I mean I can't it's incredible how many DMs I keep getting saying Eddie uh, my truck you know I I uh, did some mods you know DPF back kit and it runs like shit uh, well guys I've told you and I've told you multiple times the only person who has good tuning right now for the uh, Cummins is Matt at Optimal Welding. If you want to contact him, you need to email him at optimalwelding at gmail.com. Optimalwelding at gmail.com. Now, he's out in Canada. He'll, he's got an auto cal. He's got everything. Now, if you guys, because I know where you're getting your tunes from if you're not getting them from Matt. I'm not going to say the company name. I'm not trying to put anybody on blast. I'll give you a hint. They are in Canada. And uh, they're, they got three letters in their company. If you're tuned by a company that's got three letters in it and it runs like crap, well, that's why. I had their tuning, guys. Uh, they tried everything. Uh, they tried LBF, low boo boost fueling tuning. Their tuning, and if you guys are watching this, the company, I'm sorry, but your tuning is horrible. I don't know. Uh, you guys haven't figured it out yet, clearly. And here's the worst part about that company, guys, is if you want your money back, they won't give you money back. And then check this out. If you purchase an auto cow for them, they won't even now give you the unlock code. That's how uh, a bunch of little, uh, you know, mother flowers they're being. It took me forever to get the unlock code from them because they didn't want to give it to me because they knew I was going through a new tuning company. Now that so many people have done it that do it or have done it, they are no longer offering unlock uh, codes for you guys. So you are, you'll pretty much be screwed. So if you have a Cummins, and I'm talking any Cummins, I'm not talking fifth gen, I'm talking first, second, third, fourth, fifth, all any Cummins, contact Matt at Optimal Welding. He will hook you guys up. And I mean, if you don't believe me, well, you could try it. And for you guys that have DM me, and I'm, I'm the reason why I'm making this video is because I've got so many of these DMs. Uh, it's you know, here's your answer. Stop, you know, going to all these other companies. Now, another thing is you guys want to monitor or you guys want to see this uh, edge system. And you guys asked me also real quick, Easy Link Auto Cal. I prefer the Auto Cal because I like to monitor my truck with the edge system or the Banks iDash system. Uh, both those systems, both these are really, really good. Banks iDash system will give you a lot more information than this edge. This edge is sort of a generic if you want to just, you know, get the basics. Um, now, I mean, I'm going downhill, so I can't really show you good accurate numbers. Yeah, that's EGTs, uh, but again, I'm, I'm going downhill, but I got fuel rail pressure, um, we've got exhaust pressure, and when you see it shoot up like that, see that exhaust pressure shoot up like that, that's because I keep this on auto exhaust braking, so when I tap the brake, it starts slowing me down, and you'll notice, see the vein position? Top right, go to 99. That's shutting the uh, veins of the VGT turbo to slow you down also. So uh, you can you can see all this, guys. When you tune the truck and you get one of these, and you'll see the problem with these other tuners where there are a couple spots where they're lacking. When, and this is what I noticed. So when I took uh, another tuning company and I took Matt's tuning, 
uh, match tuning is right on the money. These other companies are like they have they give you no boost, no exhaust pressure. All it does is smoke like crazy. And remember, guys, if you got a tune that is smoking like crazy, that's not a clean tune. You know, of course, if you're gonna step on it, smash it, yes, okay, uh, that's gonna happen. That's just the nature of a diesel when you have a DPF back kit. But um, when you're cruising, or uh, like in DMAC Rhino's, DMAX Rhino situation, like when he's cruising and he's got all that black smoke coming out of it, that's not a good tune. That's not a clean tune. Um, you know, not sure what's going on with his truck. A lot of you guys have asked me, hey, did Ryan figure that out? No, I don't think he did. Uh, but, and the only reason I say this is because you can tell all the black. If you notice on this truck, hardly any black smoke comes out. Even when I'm climbing the grades with the uh, the ding ding, the big ding ding, uh, ding ding 2.0, there's, I got no black smoke coming out of the, uh, of the back at all. And, and also, I keep it in stage two. Now, if you're gonna stick it in five, and shove your foot all the way down to the floor, you're gonna get smoke. But with this other tuner that I had, and trust me guys, uh, if you guys have seen my older videos, you know, I tuned this truck, flashed it probably, and I can confirm by all the files on my computer, on my laptop, probably 15 times. Tried every single company, guys, every single company, and trust me, Matt at Optimal Welding is the only one that has proper tuning for this truck. Believe me, if you don't believe me, go to another company, get your deal, and I promise you guys, you will regret it. And no, Matt doesn't give me no kickback, nothing. Um, I'm not working with the guy. I'm just trying to help you guys out, trying to help the truck community out by not getting these crap tunes by all these other companies for the Cummins. Again, uh, for exhaust, all that stuff, contact Raj. I, again, his, or his uh, Instagram will be down in the description, so you can DM him. Now, this place, guys, is a ghost town of a whole because of this whole uh, uh, Corona little chingus going on. Look at Saquon. Poor Saquon is still closed. This sucks, man. Also, guys, I've had some of you uh, DM me, and again, I try to make these uh, videos to respond to the DM. When I get a lot of the same DMs, I like to make a video for you guys. So, a lot of you guys are saying, Eddie, is your shifter like all wobbly and loose? So, yes, mine was uh, wobbly, loose, felt like it was coming apart. It's very, very easy, guys, and I did a video on it, on how to fix this problem. Just pop this off. There's a little 10 millimeter bolt in there. Put some blue Loctite on it, tighten it up, and that's it, and you're done. It will literally take you two minutes. It is so easy. If you need help, DM me on my Instagram, Eddie's Life, and I'll try to help you guys uh, out with that. But now that we are full of diesel, we're ready to go. All right, guys, it's finally nighttime. I've been wanting to show you the light bar. I'm kind of waiting for this car to go, but okay, we're just going to do it real quick. I'm sorry, car. I, I got to do it for the subscribers. Bam! Oh, my. Look at this thing, guys. Look at that. Before, after. Bam! This light bar is insanely bright. Wow. All right, well, I'm probably pissing off that car, so I don't want to piss them off. But look at that. That's insane, guys. Look at that. That just lights up everything. This is insane. And it's only a 20 inch. That's crazy. Well, there you have it, guys. I gotta say, this light uh, really, for how small it is, just for it being a little 20 inch, uh, this thing really kicks some ass. It's it's pretty damn bright. And no, they have not came up with anything in the grill yet. Uh, trust me, if they did, I'd have it. Fortunately, right now, that's all they got. And a lot of you guys ask me, Eddie, does that do anything or affect anything for temperature? No, it does not. I've monitored my transmission temp. Uh, engine temp, e-towing without towing, this light bar does not affect it. No turbo, uh, none of that stuff. So I don't know why, but um, I, I supposedly some of you guys have had issues with these light bars on previous truck where you're saying, oh, I put one in my, um, I think it was Duramax, somebody said, and the transmission ran hot. Uh, you know, I don't know. I don't know if it's because of the light bar. I wouldn't think it is. I mean, is it blocking some airflow? Yes, it is, but... I would be surprised if, you know, just by putting a light bar there, uh, it's going to affect it. But it did not affect it for me at all. Also, you guys asked me, Eddie, why do you always keep your hood open when you, um, or after you're done driving it? No specific reason. I just uh, do it to get the, the heat out, guys. I'm not, there's no trick or anything behind it. I mean, everything just cools down much quicker. And, you know, instead of the heat just being trapped in there, just open it up. And, I mean, shit, the heater's on in here, so might as well heat the place too while it's at it. Also, you guys asked me about lumens. I think it was 25,000 uh, lumens on this one. 
and uh, it says that uh, when you go on their website, it can withstand the speed of 110 miles an hour. So pretty much you will not outrun the light. So some people, for example, you know, us people that got like the, the Cummins or the Can-Ams, you know, we outrun these lights. So this thing, this 20 inch is good uh, up to 110 miles an hour. So I might have to add another one on here because it's only good for about 110. So I'm gonna have to just add another one maybe on top of it to double that uh, because you know we're driving the Cummins you know so uh, we might need uh, some more light in this thing you know what I mean I was even thinking about guys check this out putting uh, this rigid right here it's my little 10 inch rigid then I was thinking about putting this 50 inch bad boy right here on the tractor all right I think this is my 40 this is my 40 or my 50 I don't remember which one this is this is either my 40 or 50 inch rigid light and I don't know even know where I think I don't know how I got this or where I got it but I gotta use it. I wanna put on something. Give me some ideas, guys. What should I put? I really would like to put it in the grill of the Ram. Uh, the, it's just, I don't know, guys. The, the, and nobody's came up with anything. The problem is that what they're saying is because of the little vents, see there, well, I don't know if you can't see it, but they're closed right now. So the vents in here, I don't know if it's on all the Rams, but I know on my Ram here, uh, like when I start this up, these vents, whoop, they flip open. And I believe the vents go like, from up here all the way down, or they stop. I think, or no, I think it starts, yeah, I think it starts right here, right there, and then goes all the way up. I don't know if every Ram has it, but I know that's a problem on this Ram, is they can't, and these things are, I guess, they're pretty wide, and they can't get in the way of the flap, so they have to still continue to open up, so. Uh, stay tuned, though, if they come out with something or let me know something, I'll be the first to let you guys know. If you guys want to know pricing on this Baja design, I, I think I want to say it was like eight or nine hundred bucks. I'm not sure. If you want the setup though, you can contact CJC Off Road. CJC is the one who hooked me up with that, so you can contact them for pricing. Also, they have some of the little like squared uh, Baja designs. You guys know I like to put some under here, so that's probably going to be the next thing I'm going to do is put the little square Baja designs, tuck them up under there so you can't see them, but. So I have enough light to shine back here because it's pretty dark. These these are pretty bright, but they're not going to be as bright as uh, the other ones. And yes, guys, I do want to start color matching this thing. I found some badass lights. They were all white. I think this part right here was black. This was black, and this was black. But the problem is nobody in Cali does it. And it uh, takes like two or three weeks or something, so... I don't want to have no tail lights for two, three weeks in case we have a desert trip or river trip or some trip. We're always doing some, especially now having the toy hauler. I want to start using it, so I don't want to be out, you know, tail lights. So if you know anybody in Cali that can do it in a couple days, uh, let me know. I would love to do that. So that's all I got for you guys. Remember, for tuning, use Matt at Optimal Welding. For exhaust, for parts, use Raj. Again, I will put his DM down in the description or his Instagram down in the description. You guys can DM Raj and uh, he can get you, you know, whatever you guys need for parts. So don't forget guys, tuning, use Matt. If you don't, you're going to continue to DM me and Teddy tell me, Eddie, there's something wrong with my truck. And I'm going to just tell you who's your tune by and you're going to tell me, oh, yada, yada, so to so and whatever. And I'm going to say that's why. So thank you guys for watching this video. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up button. Don't forget to click subscribe. Peace. Yeah.